Hello, I'm Z, and this is another server showcase for players. Like I say, if you uh, got me a server you want me to check out, if you're a player or if you're just a, a server owner, please drop it in the comments, the name of the server. I'll look it up on DZSA or I'll look it up on the vanilla. Either way, I'll find it. So, until then, all I can say is, uh, let's get into it. Let's play some DayZ. Okay, this is my spawn point or felonies Daisy server. And this is what I spawn in with. It's not much of anything, and I didn't really have much of anything. I had to loot it up pretty good. <clears throat> this here is a Deer Isle airstrip, or airfield, whichever one you want to call it. Now, if you've been playing DayZ for any kind of time, you realize that, that this stuff does not belong on there. So the admins did add a lot of extra stuff, which is kind of cool because it adds to it. There's more points to loot from as well, more points to hide. Definitely a good place to ambush a big group or even a small man or just one man. There's quite a bit to be seen. I'm going to show you the rest of it later. I'm just going to go through here quickly, do a little bit of looting, and then we're going to go to the heli trader. Now, if you notice, I did find an IFAC, so sometimes it's worth looking at the vest. Regardless if you got one or not, always stop and look at the stuff. You never know what you can find. I end up carrying this ARX the rest of the game. It's a 76254, so I definitely like that. It's a high caliber. Good killing rifle. That there is a point to where, if you're a good sniper, you can sit up on that tower and you can snipe people from probably all over that airfield. Just saying. Now the thing I hate about this is is the traders are NPCs, so they look like players. So it always give they always give me the creeps. So this is the heli trader. And there's a car right over to the left. So that kind of troubles me a little bit. I always aim at them in case they move and then I blast them. But that's the heli trader. There's the ATM machine right there and you can rob it. There has to be five people online to rob it. This is where you get your helis at your own risk. You can get your keys. This here is Cushfield trader, safe zone. There's only two safe zone traders. Share your vehicle, your vanilla style, a couple others, the MRAP. Share your virtual garage, so if you don't want to keep it at your base or keep it somewhere else, then you put it in the garage. It's right over here. Now, for my entire journey, I kept coming back, and every time I came back, there was always, uh, well, you got 50,000 to start. There was always a heli sitting out here. At first, it was just this little gyrocopter. 
and then it was a little bird. Then it was two little birds. And it just kept getting worse and worse. I kind of left it alone. I don't know if they delete it, but here's where your hunting stuff goes. Get rid of all your pelts and your meat and whatever. Here's your medical supplies and stuff. You cannot buy an IFAC here, but you can buy it at black market. You can buy over-the-counter drugs, but of course I only see two, so I'm not going to buy things I can't see. I learned that one a, lot, a hard way. Now they did fix these guys who are not sitting in the ground. They're actually standing on crates, so they're taller now. But the video I took, you know, was before then, so you just have to excuse that. Sorry. This here's where you get your vanilla clothing and all that. I think the best thing, uh, the best backpack I found was 180 slots. And you can buy that anywhere. I ended up finding a uh, an armory bag that had 140 slots. I actually found it up north. So if it's up to you, it's worth it. This here, you get your code locks and your nails. It's BBP building as well. It's got Paragon storage. They do get quite a bit. They did think about the player on this for sure. Like I said, if it's not in there, if I can't see it, I don't buy it. I had a problem with the server that did that once. And it, it crashed the server every time I looked at it. And then they had to kill my character off. And it was just a hassle. So I, I just don't do it personally. That's just me. Not sure what all that is, but that's all BBP stuff. Like I said, I just leave it alone. That's me. Here's your attachments and ammunition. You get your magazines. I had magazines for just about everything except for the tappers. And that was it. Now, if you like to customize your gun, you can get all kinds of different stuff, stocks, optics, you name it. Here's your guns, melee weapons. There is some rare weapons as well on here that you can purchase. There's quite a bit. Now, they got tasers on here in... I know you're probably thinking, well, what, what good's a taser, right? Man, when I was running in a big group of people, I would buy a taser if I could with batteries. And when they're not looking, man, I'd hit them with it. And I know that sounds mean, but there's a well. You can get you some water. I know that sounds mean, but you know what? It's, it's hilarious. And when they do it back to you, it's even more funny. So, you know, that's when you do it, just shenanigans around the base or something like that. Nothing big. This is a Swansville Trader. Now, I did catch a lift with this, and I'll show you here in a little while. This is there's Vehicle Trader. Now, this trader also has a virtual garage as well, so you can park your vehicle if you want. And I'm pretty sure it works with helis just as well as it does cars. This trader's kind of small. There's the ATM right here. Now, like I said, these guys here, they, they're standing on boxes now, so they're a little bit taller. That was your weapons. This is your ammunition attachments. There's the taser cartridges. Now, if you're running in a group, i got to say, buy a taser, buy the cartridge. When your buddy ain't looking, when you're in a base or something, zap him. He'll be mad, but it'll be funny at the same time. Here's your BBP supplies, storage. You can buy your nails, code locks. Here's all your clothing, backpacks, vests, etc. You can buy a full ghillie suit if you like. You can also buy beards. I forgot to put that in there, sorry. Here's your medical supplies and food. This is your basic medical supplies, so... Probably stock up on some bandages just in case. Here's your hunting trader. Pelts, meat. 
I got a lot to you. Sometimes I get tired of just PvP and just... So I go out and I do a little hunting just to break up the monotony a little bit. I'm not very good at PvP, so I lose more than I win, but... You know, I, I do show up. That's the thing. I show up, and I don't cry about it. All right, this is right after I got airdrop. I'll show you when I get the airdrop. These guys were online, and when you're online, you look at the people that are online. It's just numbers. It doesn't give you a name, so they'll they'll ask who's on. You don't have to answer, but I mean, I did. Guy said, "I'd like a heli ride to Swansville," and I was like, "Great." Now I, I give him this. I could have shot him. He could have shot me. You know, but he was actually really cool. Him and his partner. They come over here and got me and and took me the five the five kilometers or whatever it is to where I gotta go. The rest of this, me and me and these guys are just having a conversation, so I kinda cut all that out. So I just decided I'm gonna play some music and enjoy the ride. That's pretty cool, man. He wasn't too bad a pilot. He wasn't too good a pilot either. <laughs> but we made it. So this is all the stuff I got earlier. Because they gave me a ride and they didn't have to, I decided, you know what? I'm going to give them the airdrop that I got earlier before they before I even started talking to them. But that'll come up next. You can see it's quite a bit of collectibles. This is quite a bit of money worth of stuff. Intel paper, cell phones. I even gave him some top quality armor and a Cheetech 408. Thanks to Orton Homie and Vegetable and Training. I sure appreciate the ride, guys. Thank you, man. This is the airdrop I was telling you about that I dropped on them guys. This is before they come pick me up. What you didn't see was me killing a handful of zombies. There was probably about 30 or 40 of them. So that's the armor I got. Now the airdrops are pretty decent. They got some good collectibles in them. They got some decent armor. They got some good guns. Definitely worth fighting over a little bit. Probably not worth fighting a group of 10, but definitely fighting over a group of one or two. And if you look down on the bottom, you'll see where Orton told me, he's like, who's on? Of course, I answered here in a minute. This here is a deep water oil rig. Sharks, mermaids, and future gas purchases made here. 
Don't ask me why I put that. I don't know. Now, yes, I did swim out here. And, and yes, there is a way to get on here about five different ways. I came out here because there was an air drop on top of it. That and I wanted to see it. And you can hear the bears. some pretty good loot there. That's M60, which is the 308, which is probably one of my go-tos. I don't pick up a gun to shoot unless it's 308 or higher, but that's just me. There's a lot of points of interest out here, a lot of places to loot. And like I said, right now, there's an airdrop. There's bears, but I didn't see them, so I guess they were in the buildings. So I just got the airdrop and left. This is the second airdrop. Like I say, you can hear the bears, but I don't know where they were. I never did see them, but I didn't go looking for them either. Now the admins did tell me some airdrops do give a chance of getting an armored vehicle, so I'm guessing this one is not one of those. But if you get to a place, you know, like Stoneville or something where it's in the middle of a town, you might get a chance to get one. And there goes Eastbrook. That was where I got the first one at. Now, the oil rig is in the top north, so the loot up here is pretty good. It's not bad at all. I did find a couple boxes of nails and some code locks, so definitely worth seeking some stuff. Now, when I initially did this part of the video, there was no boat trader, but now there is. So now you can get a boat if you want and come out here. Probably be a little bit easier, be a whole lot quicker. This here's black market. There's an ATM machine right here in the corner. Now you can rob that as well, but it has to be five people or more online. This black market threw me for a loop. I actually had to come up here about two or three times to get a hold of it because it was just so weird to me. Now if you got a heli, you can get on top of this thing. You can land right on top, come down. bad thing about all these curves and twists and turns is people could be camping up here and catch you at the last minute. Of course, here's a the guy there. I hate NPCs. I do. And there's quite a bit to be done here as well. You can buy your IFACs here. Or you can find them. I prefer to find them. That's just me. There's your drug stuff. You can also get your supplies for your growing. Watch out for that step. I almost went down it. There's nothing under you but air. <laughs> now, if you want to find seeds, you can get them in airdrops and stuff. There is a king of the hill, but I can't remember how many people have to be online. I never could catch it on time. It always seemed to disappear and then never came back. Uh, you can find seeds in greenhouses. They're a little difficult, I'm guessing, because 
people before me went and looted the hell out of it. But yeah, I, I found one pack. So I know if I could find one pack, there's more. And that's in the black market. And yes, there's, there is Zeds out, zombies, so be careful. This here is your boat trader. Now, like I said, this here was an add-on last minute. Because it wasn't here when I started. And, of course, it's NPC. And you can see the guy standing correctly. Yes, the gas pumps do work, just in case you're wondering. And there's one on both sides. This is not a safe zone. Now they only had three boats here, but they're pretty cool looking, you know? At least that luxury boat looks really cool to me. There's no ATM, so you have to carry your money with you. I mean, that's probably the only downfall of it. You have to carry your money with you, but that's part of the adventure as well. Good luck if you come out here. Now this here is the airfield, you can see right here. Now basically I want to show this off to you because on the vanilla part, a lot of this stuff is not here. Good place to go snipe. They do have quite a bit. So I'm just going to kind of run through here a little bit and show you. There is some zombies down here, but not very many. This here's one of my favorite guns, M110. It's 308. It's similar to a sniper rifle and also an assault rifle, so I kind of like it. This here's on top of the uh, headquarters building. And there's quite a bit going on here. You can see all the extra stuff. You can see the heli guy right there. So that's the heli trader. Good place to sit here and snipe. A lot of extra stuff. You can see it spawn in. And basically, I was just trying to run through here quietly. I wasn't going to play after this because I was wrapping up my video, basically. There's a whole bunch of barracks here on your left. And if you look down there on your further left, you'll see the tents and all that where I came in at the very beginning of my video. This is a good point of interest for POI. There's a lot to do here because they've added so much. Definitely worth coming through. Even if you just headed to Paris Island, definitely a good way to come through. I got some decent weapons out of here, so I did get quite a bit of ammo for like my 308, so I did find two extra magazines, so that helped as well. And there's zombies kind of spread out a little bit. There is some decent loot. You just kind of got to look around for it. I had, I didn't look. I just kind of ran through here real fast. I happen to see this box here, so I wanted to see what kind of storage it was. Small, safe, white. Yep, that's a pretty good deal. I'll grab that. You can put code locks on them as well, so it'd be good security. There's a fire station over there. I didn't check to see how much loot's in there. A heli crash. Now, 
there are crates throughout and basically that's what I was looking for is crates I couldn't find crates to save my life I really couldn't I, I asked admins I'd ask the other players and nobody could seem to have found a crate when I asked admins on uh, on there this is what I got crates can be in and under vehicles hidden in bus stops inside buildings on the roof of buildings only once you can access by foot they aren't guaranteed to spawn in every location every restart it spawns five crates of each tier now they have it in their discord to where they actually tell you where the towns where it spawns and it's like a CJ 187 crate from the way I understand it I haven't seen one but I have a key if you look down there on my quick quick bar you'll see it Maybe that'd be an adventure for you to find, you know. Instead of me showing you everything, that's something for you to find out on your own. You can get the keys from Airdrop, so definitely worth looking for. Now, of course, I'm a dummy. I love to walk through open fields. So, I know you're probably going, Oh, you stupid idiot. But that's the way I am. I'm a stupid idiot. I'm going to take cover over here and I'm going to get rid of these zombies and show you this uh, heli crash. Of course, I got somebody asking where's everybody at after I did all that shooting, so kind of makes me a bit nervous, but I'm not worried about it. So this is a heli crash. Now, this is the first one I've seen. I'm sure they got many. Just give you an idea what they look like. And just in case you're wondering, no, I didn't have a silencer. You can't buy them. Do we find them? There's some pretty decent armor and stuff, so if you find one... Come to it, get it, get your stuff, be a good start. The vest was definitely a good thing to pick up. Bag wasn't too bad. It's a good starter bag, 100 slots, gloves. There's some collectibles, graphics card for, uh, not sure if they do Bitcoin mining, but definitely worth trying. Another helmet. Not too bad. For a heli crash, not too bad at all. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. If you got a server in mind that you want me to try, I'm more than welcome to go there. Just leave it in the comments. If you like what you see, please subscribe. I'm going to make more. I'm not done yet. I know I'm not as interesting as some, but I sure am going to try. Until then, enjoy your day. And thanks for watching.